Hello everyone, today we're going to be making the random dropping essential feature of this plugin. So basically what we want to start with is getting a random uh, item and then dropping it while it's raining. Let me just remove that code because that's just doing some debugging. Okay, so currently it drops this when it rains, but we want to drop a random material. So we'll just make this a bit easy and go random material and then we'll create public material because that's what we want to return uh, random material and this is going to get a random material okay so what we want to do with start with is um we want to get all our materials into a list, so we'll do material dot, and then you'll see we have all these, and then we can get the list with values. Um, so then what we need to do is we need to pick a random one of these values, which we'll do in a second. So if we go um, random r equals new random. And then we import random from Java Util, and then we go dot um, length. This is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this. We can go um, r dot next int, and then random. Oops, no, r dot next int from the length of that array and basically this will choose a random one from that array and then all we have to do is put a square bracket there and uh, and then we'll assign this material to uh, and then we'll return material so basically this will just drop a random material and we'll just Quickly export this. Um, item rain finish. Start the server. Uh, wait for it to boot. This is just localhost, by the way. Okay, so um, now when we go toggle down for. you see that time we got a book. Uh, let's just turn it over now. items. Uh, toggle down for. Toggle it again. That time we got. Tripwire. Um, okay, so the issue with this is, um. We're getting blocks. And we don't really want to give them blocks, we want to give them hardwired, like, written books and stuff. So basically what we need to do is we need to check if it's a book or not. Uh, no, if it's placeable. So, let's go back to our code. And what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this array. And basically, um, what we want to do is we're going to add, make it so when this listener starts up, it's going to set an array of all the items in the game. So we're going to create a constructor for it. Uh, so it's going to be public rain listener. This is how you do a constructor. And we're going to make a public static um, array of items. Actually, it doesn't need to be static. Uh, so public material array. Um, of actually, we'll do an array list because array list is actually nicer to do. <clears throat> Let's hope I can remember this properly. Uh, items equals new array list material. So that should work. Please say it does. And just import them. Okay, now we have an items array. So basically, we want to um, 
get this. And we want to go for, for each of them. So we'll create a for loop. And basically a for loop goes for each material. So we'll say material uh, M again. Doesn't matter if you reuse variables. And then we'll do an if statement. If M dot. Um, as you can see, we have loads of data about these blocks. We can check if they're edible, flammable. So we're going to check if they're a block, and we're going to inverse that. So if they're not a block, then this will happen. So we'll go items dot add m, and this will just add all the um, items to it. Now for this, it's pretty easy to change. All you have to do is go items uh, dot get because this is an array list we need to change this to get instead of the curly braces and then change list items dot size as I remember okay so this will just drop a random item and um, that's pretty simple to do so let's just export this item range and we'll reload our server rejoin the game and now if we toggle down for toggle down for oh we got a golden shovel <coughs> Now if we toggle it again, we got a bit of bread. These are probably just dropping at my feet. What was that? Uh, chicken. Sugar. So these are the sort of items that we want to randomly appear. Music records. There's no items here that I would object to sort of being rained down. A bit of one iron and good. There is a chance, I think, that you can get armor. Uh, yeah. Um, so here we are, we got armor that time. As you can see, I'm now wearing it. So there is a chance of getting armor, but um, let's just print out uh, the size because it'd be nice to know how what the chance of getting armor is because there's four sets of armor, so that's sixteen out of something, and we could possibly make it less often, but we'll leave that for now. Okay, so let's just item rain, finish, reload the server, get back in game, toggle down for toggle down for. 165, so that's 16 out of 165, that makes it a 1 in 10 chance. That's a bit common, but we could probably figure out a way to do this, so let's just have a quick look at what M holds. What you can get from M. It doesn't look like we can check if it's armor easily. Um, no, it doesn't look like there's a way, a way to get armor without hard coding all the IDs in. Which I personally don't like hard coding IDs in. For the fact if Minecraft updates and adds a new set of armor. Our plugin won't know. So I think I'll call that an episode. I hope you enjoyed this. We have learned how to get random sets of items, and next time we'll be making them rain down and stuff like that. See you in the next episode.